Well, we're right we're the we're mid mountain and I've been working with Demarze and Emmanuel and they come from about four miles from here and they're coming over to help other people who don't have um, have the ability to have a house. We're here today from all over the world here for the UNESCO Chair Intergenerational Human Rights Forum. We're here in the southern province of Rwanda here to build homes for these villagers who are living on these like a lands that government wants to use those lands for the agriculture so we're building these homes for them so these they can move to these homes and the government can use these lands to grow crops and all these different uh, you know plants so that's what we're here you know doing here today so we pretty much first of all we leather off these lands because you know as you know the water is like has lots and lots of hills my name is Sarah, Ireland. And my name is Sylvia from Brazil. Happy. Tough work, yeah. It's tough work, and we are pretty happy to be able to, to help. Uh -huh. even, then, even if it's a little bit of help, but uh, we are really, really, really hap uh, happy to uh, be helping them. Yeah, okay. there's a big community. And we are amazed that uh, these are volunteer people uh -huh. helping the community to build their houses. Well, there's something here called Umuganda, where it's one day. Uh, it's, it's one day, right? Yeah. One day where everyone does community service. Really? Yeah, yeah every month once. It's like half a day. It's a half day where everyone does community service. Everyone in the whole country? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's great. So everyone just goes out and does a community service for like half a day. And yeah, I think it's practical. They are really friendly. I wish I could speak more Kinyarwanda. Exactly. <laughs> I can't talk to them as much as I'd like to. <laughs> It's a hard work. <laughs> it is. I mean, I cannot imagine how these women, you see them, they have like babies in the back. At the same time, they're doing this hard work. I mean, I can't imagine that. Like us, like a perfectly normal, like a, you know, healthy individuals that are having a hard time doing this thing. And uh, can you imagine these people doing this for like every day? Yeah. With the baby in the back. It's amazing. Mm. You, don't, you don't really understand until you come over here and then do it for yourself. You know, you, you just feel it, how hard it is, you know? Mm. And then we just look at it, you know, and then, ah, oh, yeah, this is an easy job, but it's not. They do it, like, every day, in and out. So it, it makes you appreciate, makes you appreciate what you have and then how much a lot of people here struggle for things that we're taking for granted, yeah. especially back in the States, you know? It's really, really powerful statement, you know? for all of us to take it back with us. So what the message, uh, what little message you got in this working community? <sighs> that we all have to do our parts. Like we, all, yeah, we, we, all, we all can do a little bit, you know. There's always some little part that we can do. And it takes not no, no effort, but like it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And we're just volunteering alongside the rest of the people here. So. so we just worked, we just moved about, I think about three feet, three cubic yards of uh, soil, each one of us. And we moved it for approximately, I would say about 40 feet. And we went back, we kept doing it. We did it about five or six times. And uh, they were very impressed about how we all worked together. It wasn't about me or him, it was us. You know, it was, uh, I've been learning this new word called Ubuntu. And I think the best explanation of that term I got was from uh, my friend Brian from Uganda. And he said that one hand cannot wash itself, it takes its second hand. So I think this is the best example of Ubuntu. This work, this day here, this morning here, for me, for me, 
represents that word, that it's Ubuntu, mm -hmm. that I am because we are. So these volunteer people, like working together to um, help the community, help the people, help the people that, that have no homes, mm -hmm. that's, that's the real meaning of it, you know? Yeah.